Kenyatta University, the second largest public university in Kenya, is located 16 kilometers north of Nairobi City along the busy Nairobi Thika Superhighway. Set on over 1,100 acres of land, the university offers one of the most conducive environment for scholarly activities in the Eastern and Central African region. As you get into Kenyatta University, what captures one's attention is the amount of activity right from the main gate. Students and staff walk briskly along the Kenya Drive and disperse into different directions as they reach the junction with the strategically placed motto Elimu Ningovu. The university began its long history to university status in 1965 when the British government handed over the Templar barracks to the Kenya government. Kenyatta College, as it was known then, exclusively trained diploma level teachers for secondary schools. It went through various transformations from 1972 when it admitted its first batch of Bachelor of Education degree students and has continued to grow and expand its programs and activities in line with the dynamic times. In 1985, it acquired university status. Today, KU is one of the leading institutions in this part of the world, intent on transforming higher education and enhancing lives through a wide range of programs. Over the years, Kenyatta University has demonstrated exceptional capacity of training high-level manpower who have gone on to take up leading roles in various fields nationally, regionally and globally. We have been trying to um, enhance access to higher education because that is our mandate and currently the university has over 70,000 students doing their bachelor's, master's and PhD degrees. Kenyatta University's ranking has improved significantly locally, regionally and internationally. Continentally, the university has improved from position 100 in 2009 to position 30 in 2013, while nationally, it is the second ranked university. During this 37th graduation, over 6,000 students at diploma, bachelor's, master's and doctorate degrees will be graduating. A unique feature of KU is the opportunity given to master's and PhD graduates to disseminate their research findings through the biannual postgraduate seminars. The seminar for this graduation took place last week. Kenyatta University is a community of scholars committed to the generation and dissemination of knowledge and cultivation of wisdom for the welfare of society. The university has 15 schools, namely School of Agriculture and Enterprise Development, School of Applied Human Sciences, School of Business, School of Economics, School of Education, School of Engineering and Technology, School of Environmental Studies, School of Medicine, School of Hospitality and Tourism, School of Humanities and Social Sciences, School of Law, School of Public Health, School of Pure and Applied Sciences, School of Visual and Performing Arts, and Graduate School. Currently, Kenyatta University has a student enrollment of slightly over 71,000, comprising of government-sponsored and self-sponsored students. Kenyatta University has a total of 952 academic staff, ranging from full professors to tutorial fellows. In addition, there are 1,792 non-teaching staff. The university, in line with its strategic and vision plan, has invested considerably towards the preparation of the students for graduation and the labor market. Curriculum review has been made mandatory with the departments and schools regularly reviewing the academic programs every four years in order to make them relevant and responsive to the changing needs of the society and the labor market. Approval of programs by the University Senate has been fast-tracked through the Rapid Results Initiative. And I want to particularly uh, thank the leadership of the University, beginning with the uh, Vice-Chancellor, because she is the Chief Executive. She has molded a very effective team of uh, management and here it includes the Senate, the, uh, the management board and together they have worked as a team in a very cohesive manner to 
bring this institution to the level that they have brought it up. The availability of various modes of study, regular, institutional based, open, distance and e-learning, day or evening programs have increased access to programs offered at KU. In addition to the main campus, Kenyatta University has other campuses namely Roiro, Kitui, Parklands, Mombasa, Nyeri, Nakuru, City, Kericho, Embu and Arusha. These campuses take higher education closer to the population. Machakos University College is a constituent college of Kenyatta University. The acquisition of computers, internet connectivity and digitizing our programs is an area where the university has performed well. In addition to completing the laying down of a fiber optic network on the campus to enhance internet connectivity, the university has implemented several ICT projects including biometric identification of students, CCTV, e-waste management, Moodle e-learning system, video conferencing, and Campus View integrated system. Recently, the university launched its digital school with the offer of free tablets to students who are registered in the distance and open learning program. These projects have noticeably improved teaching and learning and enhanced access to information. By starting the digital school, um, currently we have about 4,000 students enrolled in this digital school. And I'm happy to announce that the students are using tablets to access their learning materials. And we have found this to be both cost effective and also easier for the students to uh, study wherever they are in the country or even outside the country. The computer laboratories are always a hub of activity as students look for the latest information to beef up their lecture notes and library research. This and many other facilities aim at putting the KU graduates on the cutting edge of knowledge and information and preparing them for the global labor market. Another significant area of good performance in KU is research and innovation. In order to further enhance the performance of the institution in research and innovation and provide an enabling environment for research, innovation and outreach as the country strives towards achieving Vision 2030, the university recently took the bold step to establish a new division focusing on research, innovation and outreach. Ongoing plans and efforts within the new division are aimed at bolstering our research and innovation strengths and create fertile ground for innovation and outreach including restructuring of the various units handling research and innovation in the university. The university has put in place measures to enhance research activities including allocation of more research funds, protection of intellectual property rights of researchers, training of academic staff in grant writing and strengthening of the Chandaria Business Innovation Incubation Center. These measures have resulted in improved performance in research grants obtained, publications and conferences. Kenyatta University is renowned for research that responds to the needs of the community. A striking example is the university's plant transformation laboratory, which facilitates research of crops like maize, groundnuts, cassava, sorghum, tomato, sweet potatoes and pigeon peas. The laboratory has led to the development of plants that are drought resistant and genetically enhanced. The establishment of the Chandaria Business Innovation Incubation Center has continued to provide mentorship to incubates, which is important in guiding them through the processes of establishing entrepreneurial projects and growing them into successful spin-off companies. A number of promising business ideas are currently being incubated, including Total Care providing high-tech solutions to reduce infant mortality rates, Solar Vista producing innovative solar water heating systems, Corio Energy Company producing energy from chicken droppings. Dissemination of research results in conferences, workshops and seminars has been enhanced in order to enable the uptake of evidence-based research. In March 2013, Kenyatta University was selected out of several universities by UN Women to host the Africa Center for Transformative and Inclusive Leadership. The center, being supported by UN Women, will build the capacity particularly of women and provide leadership training to women in politics, business and agriculture.
The center will be responsible for the Eastern, Horn of Africa and Southern Africa regions. A number of trainings have been held in Nairobi, Mombasa, Ethiopia, South Sudan and Uganda. Again, in November 2014, Kenyatta University was selected out of several universities by USAID to host President Obama's Young Africa Leadership Training Center for Eastern Africa, similar to the one to be established in Ghana and South Africa. The Intra-African Student Exchange Program, which enabled students from Kenyatta University travel to partnering university for at least one semester, and which at the same time allows students from partnering universities to undertake their studies at KU for a similar period, has gained momentum. The number of partnering university now includes University of Cape Coast, Ghana, University of Ilorin, Nigeria, Delta State University, Nigeria, Uganda Matayas University, Nkosi, Uganda, Golis University, Hargeisa, Somaliland, and Jima University, Ethiopia. KU students returning from this semester exchange have reported immense benefits gained. Outreach and service to the community is a core mandate that Kenyatta University takes seriously. Its involvement in the wider society is realized through this program. The university supports the development of the surrounding communities by creating employment and enhancing livelihoods. Students participate in outreach programs through clubs and organizations. In 2008, the university established the Directorate of Community Outreach and Extension Programs that has successfully coordinated outreach. One of the outreach programs that Kenyans are familiar with is the Students' Community Service Project supported by Equity Bank, which takes Kenyatta University students back to their home areas for service before graduation. A lot of infrastructural development has been undertaken at Kenyatta University to support teaching, learning and research. But my very strong appeal to the university and the public is that the better the linkage, the better the relationship with management, the more progress people get, the more they advance. And that's where you see Kenyatta University being one of the very fine universities in the region, in particular with all the programs staff, students, and the structures that we see. Unlike in other universities, at Kenyatta University you will find beautifully designed infrastructure. These include the postmodern library, the engineering complex, the amphitheater, the Olemoyoi lecture halls, science laboratories, the human anatomy laboratory, Nyayo 5 and 6 hostels, the KUCC annex, Graduate School Building, Administration Complex, Directorate Complex, University Campanile, the Business and Student Service Center with banking facilities, food outlets, barbershop, salon, office space and ample parking space among others. It caters for both students and staff. In addition, the university owns and runs the North Coast Beach Hotel which serves as a training facility for programs in hospitality and tourism, as well as providing accommodation and conference services. As we continue implementing our strategic plan and making Kenyatta University a world-class university, we have developed uh, a new master plan. This master plan is showing how the university will look in future. We have uh, included a stadium, uh, a 30,000 uh, people stadium in that master plan. There is a, a, rec a recreation centre, of course the, the children's hospital is also there. And we have planned the university so that the academic uh, areas are, are separate, the social areas are separate. So this master plan is, will define how the university will look in the future. Kenyatta University has invested considerably and will continue to invest in the creation of a conducive teaching, learning and research environment. The pursuit of a conducive environment similar to those in world-class institutions necessitated the commissioning of the production of a university master plan which will be used to guide the development of future infrastructure. The master plan has provision for an enlarged entry to and exit from KU, lanes for pedestrians and cyclists, common greens for students, 
a lake within campus, a state-of-the-art stadium and a recreation center appropriately located to link the two sides of the campus and an overhead bridge over the railway line crossing the campus. The ongoing projects include the School of Law Building, the Kenyatta University Teaching, Research and Referral Hospital, the Kenyatta University Children's Hospital, Alumni Center Building for International Programs and Collaborative Building, the International Language and Culture Center, the Unicity Complex, whose first phase comprises of a shopping mall and petrol station. An important ongoing project is the construction of the undergraduate postgraduate and married student hostels through the PPP route and facilitated by IFC World Bank. This project will provide an additional 10,000 bed space for students on the main campus. Similarly, a hostel to accommodate 500 students is being built in KU's Mombasa campus. Kenyatta University has continued to embark on projects aimed at beautification through greening landscaping and construction of pavements. With this, the working environment for students and staff has greatly improved. The landscaping and greening not only makes the university beautiful, but also creates space for relaxed discussions. Students can often be seen sitting on the concrete benches in earnest discussion as they enjoy the serene surroundings. As it evolved into a world-class university, Kenyatta University recognizes the need for internationalization. This is being achieved through establishing links with foreign universities, exchange programs for students and staff, teaching of foreign languages such as Chinese, French, Japanese, German, Portuguese, the recently established Institute of African Studies, summer programs, and the KU Famous Culture Week. These internationalization programs give our students and staff the opportunity to interact with staff and students from other parts of the world and project a global image of the university. The university is privileged to have its main campus immediately adjacent to the new Nairobi Thika Superhighway. To take advantage of this privilege, the university has planned to locate an economic zone appropriately named the UniCity, on its main campus next to the highway. The uni city, when the phases are completed, will comprise of a hypermarket, retail shops, a petrol station, food courts, banks, ATMs, conference centers, hotel, recreation park, office block, and apartments. Phase one consisting of a shopping mall and petrol station is already under construction. In the last three years, a major part of the attention of the university has turned to filling the gap that exists in medical care delivery in Kenya and the region. Through a loan from China, a state-of-the-art teaching, research and referral hospital, the first to be owned and managed by a public university, is currently being constructed. Additionally, the government has sanctioned and provided funds for the construction of a Kenyatta University Children's Hospital the first public children's hospital in Kenya and the region. The primary objective of this teaching, research and referral hospitals is to provide state-of-the-art medical care to Kenyans and patients in the region, minimize and eventually stop medical tourism and attract medical tourism from other parts of Africa. The transformation that Kenyatta University is undergoing in its academic programs, quality of faculty, infrastructural development, entrepreneurship and connectedness to the national, regional and global community it serves is turning the university into a model institution. I take this opportunity to invite parents of our graduates, partners and friends of Kenyatta University for this year's graduation ceremony 
it will be held on Friday, um, 19th of, of this month. And uh, we are looking forward to having a very happy and successful graduation. So you are all welcome. Thank you. I wish uh, all our uh, students, parents, Kenyans, a joyous season full of peace and God's blessings as we celebrate this Christmas. And I wish you all a prosperous 2015.